You know, welcome back to Duck Solid Gaming and a new map and series. Yes, this is Glen Lethan. Okay, so this is a new map by our good mate Cavalier Roy. Yes, the maker of Newbie Farm or Riverview Farm, um, Maypole Farm, um, Ebony Island, um, all those all those ones, and strangely enough, a couple of the ones we're using on on our channel. Um, has produced this wonderful new map. And I say wonderful, oh, I'm not holding back on it. It is a wonderful map. It's got hills, it's got plains. Well, actually, it hasn't really got plains, but it's got hills, it's got undulating fields, it's got plenty of forestry there, if that's what you like. Um, and it's got all the other accoutrements of FS22. And this is what we're going to use for our next series. But, here's the but. We're going to do a little bit differently in this series. We are going to play FS22 Vanilla. So yes, that's right, we're just playing Vanilla. We're not using mods, and I'll quantify that statement in a second. But we are using F FS22 with all its DLCs, so the Grass and Forage Pack, the Gavil Pack, um, the Kubota Pack, um, the Platinum Crap Pack for Forestry, um, all that sort of stuff, whatever's been released for FS22 by Giants, including their individual tractors and stuff like that, we're going to utilise on this map. What we are not going to use is mods. So tractor mods, combine mods, equipment mods, all that sort of stuff. Not going to use production mods. So like the Black Dragon Den, the, the Black Dragon's um, Dragon Den pack is not going to be utilised on this map. Um, what is going to be used, however, is quality of life mods. So things like follow me. Um, course play, um, easy development mod uh, from GTX, things like that are going to be utilised. Now, there is one other catch-all with that. The one equipment mod that I am going to use, and you should have all guessed this by now, is going to be the auto load pallet mod. So I'm going to run the auto load pallet mod from uh, Aki Mobile, and we're also going to run the Auto load transport pack, which has got the man trucks and the trailers that we've used in all the other series. That's the only thing we're going to use because I still can't bring myself to doing manual handling. I've had another go with it and I'm I'm still as bad as I ever was, so I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to punish you or myself with that attempt at doing that. So that's where we're at. So let's get into the map. I'll do a quick introduction of what we've got, the map layout. We can do a bit more of an explore as we go through the series, and we're just going to get started with what we're going to do with this map. So let's get into it and see how things go. All right, so here we are. This is the main farm. So I'm going to give you a tour of the farm. Um, we're going to go through here. Firstly, I'm going to show you we've got a ute in here. Uh, over here, we've got uh, a tractor. We've got the baler. We've got a roller. Uh, we've got a sheep pen here. We've got a set of forks there, which we probably can sell because we're not going to use those. Um, we've got a plough. We've got a cedar, a planter. Very good. We've got a combine. Oh, shh. Right. One of the first things we're going to replace is the combine because we're not using that brand here. Anyway, we, we've got a sheep... Uh, sorry, a <laughs> cow pen. Um, now, one of the things that bothered me a little bit, I was thinking, oh, yeah, well, I've, got a, I've got a cow pen. We can, we can easily fill it up. My problem is... I don't know if we can get enough goods to fill it up. Um, we need 2,000 animals, up to 2,000 animals, which is great. 800,000 food capacity, 4 million litres of milk, 6.2 million litres of straw, 4 million slurry holding, 90 million of silage, hay and straw and mineral feed. My God. Okay. I, I, I said go big or go home, Roy, but that's just ridiculous. All right. Anyway. Over here, we've got uh, the corn header for the combine, which is going to go. Uh, another roller for our crops. We've got a little fent in here. Here he is. Look at that nice little fent. We've got our silo here. Um, grand, excellent. Not a problem. We haven't changed out any silos either, by the way. It's the default ones that come with the map. We've got a JD Deer John tractor there, which is going to go. Uh, we've got a, a fertilizer lime spreader. We've got Scorpio rock remover. In here we've got a hay and pallet shed. Now I haven't used this at all yet. Um, I have played the game just a little bit. Um, I've spent a couple of hours in here, but I haven't done anything in here. So I don't know how that's going to work. So we'll have to try that out. Fuel tank. We've got fertilizer tanks, liquids on this side, solid on that side. In here we've got some other implements. We've got tedders, we've got sprayers, we've got a low loader trailer, trailer, 
a bale loader and um, a loading wagon. We've got mowers over here, tedder, windrower. We've got a silage clamp here. And here we used to have those other four-legged creatures that we don't talk about on this channel. Okay, they've been removed. That's why we've got a little bit of extra cash behind us as well, because we sold them off. We sent the um, the inhabitants to the uh, to the glue farm, and uh, we sold off the shed. So that's why we got a bit of extra money. All right, we didn't get any money at the glue shed, but hey, we didn't care. We just got rid of them. All right, so that's the farm. Let's have a quick look at the map. There we go. There's the map. In good Cavalier Roy style, there are plenty of fields. As you can see, plenty of fields. There's plenty of forestry options. All this through here is all forestry you can get to. Uh, all up through here, there's plenty of forestry. If you so like it, don't worry, we won't be touching any of it. All right, our farm is located up here. This is our farm here. And there's a couple of other farms on the map. There's a farm down here in the southwest, a uh, map down here in the south, the southeast. Um, we've got uh, a farm up here. I think that's a farm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a farm there. And then we've got another farm up here in the north east. So that's that's all good there. We've then got some production points. We've got the biogas. We've got the exports over there. We've got the animal dealer and the bales market there. We've got uh, a grain mill. We've got carpentry. Won't be used. Down here near the farm, we've got the supermarket. We've got the store. We've got a lime station over here. We have a great processing unit, probably won't be used. Tailor shop, the gas station, the dairy. We have a bakery. We have a sawmill, won't be used. Biomass heating, won't be used. Uh, spinnery down to the south, sugar mill down to the south. And down to the bottom, we have the oil mill and the cereal factory. So that's what we've got. Okay, so it's it's quite a big map in that regard. So there's plenty of stuff to do. There's opportunities, obviously, to join fields together and all that sort of stuff. Um, but there's plenty of variety in here, so which is great. All right, now, our farm itself, we're going to have a look in here. This quadrant here is basically our, our home farm. So we own fields 30, 33, and 34. So we've got some corn and some wheat growing there. We also own fields 25, 26, 31, and 32, which are all grass fields. Okay? So... Not bad. Let's um, let's see about getting in and starting. We'll have a look first and see what the status of our fields are. Okay, so we're ready to harvest wheat and corn and our grass. Now, one of the first things I said I was going to do was replace the combine. And I, I'm I'm sorry, Roy. I just I just can't live with your choice of combine. So let's have a look and see what's available to us. First, we'll go to the second hand. So I'll oh, look at that. Look at that. There's a nice tree on 750, 720. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. There's the truck that I was telling you about. They're the, the autoloader transports that we've um, we've enabled. So uh, let's have a look. What are we going to do? So 181,000 for that. Um, I'm going to come straight in here. I'm going to sell this. Let's just sell this to see how much money we get from it. So 224,000. Well, that's that's a good start. Yep, we'll, we'll sell that. Yep, see you later on your bike. Uh, medium tractor. Yep, we're going to sell that. Yep, see you later on your bike. Okay, all right, good start. Headers, John Deere, get rid of it. Yep, corn headers, John Deere, get rid of it. Okay, cool. Right, now let's go and see what we can buy. Go in here. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and buy this. 181,000. We've got 628,000 now, which is, which is good. Okay, so we're going to... Um, Customize that. What have we got? Treon 720. Um, if I go to the top end, the 750, it takes up to another 43,000 and it only gives us, it's not really that necessary. So I'm not going to bother. I'm going to keep it 730. No, we're just going to go to the base 720. I think that's fine. It's it's a nicely discounted um, combine. So we're going to buy that. So uh, we purchased 121. Yep. Okay. All right. Excellent. Now, I want to go back and actually have a look and see what the retail price of that is, just out of interest. Um, 750, 720, 357. So, yeah, see, it was a, a very good price. All right, let's go back in here. Um, we've got a Maxim series for 66,000. Um, 
We've got a little Burra. You know, uh, what's he? 175 horsepower. He's probably going to be powerful enough, you know. Um, I'll buy him to replace... Uh, if I go to the 175, that's 81,000. I'll buy him to replace the other tractor. Cool. Now that's what we've got from the second hand dealer. Nothing else there really. Uh, depends on if I buy that that header, I suppose. Um, all right, now we need a header. So we're going to come in here and we're going to go header. So I'm going to grab a header. What have we got? The Convio Flex 1080. Uh, Convio Flex 1380. Um, have we got a Super Flex in class? I don't. Probably a bit big anyway. Um, so is it that one there? That, was it the Convio Flex? Twelve seventy five. So I don't think that's for that. I think that's actually for um, um, I think that's actually for one of the other headers for the uh, what's name forage wagons. Um, okay, let's just go. What are you? Ten point eight meter. We'll purchase you. Thank you. All right, we've done that. I'm going to buy a corn header. Um, now I want to get the Capello. Yep, I want that one. Um, I'm going to buy that. It's not the color I want, but hey, that, that's okay. Whoops, no, no, I don't want to buy two of them. Back, 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 back. Okay, so I've got two of them. Oh, actually, we could have just bought that one, Corio. That's what that one was for, that trailer. Um, okay, let's let's change that back out. Let's um, corn header, sell that back. We're going to make a loss. That's okay. Um, let's buy that trailer. Then back. Then we're going to come back in here. I'm going to get the corn header, the Corio 1275. That's the one I want. Buy that. 196,000 left, and we need to buy a. Standard header trailer. I think that's all we needed now. So, um, header trailer, uh, crone class. Um, uh, which one do we need? Which one do we need? Which one do we need? We'll go that one. Chassis color. Let's make it a class. Extension color. We'll make it a, well, it's Matthew Ferguson red. Uh, we've got a class red. Nope. Um, let's make it just uh, jet black. Okay, cool. Um, spare wheel. No, don't need a spare wheel. And buy that. All right, what are we left with? 185,000. So we've, we've actually still made money from that. Let's have a look and see where our equipment is and let's see what we've got. So here we go. Nice new use, well, new to us uh, combine. Cool. New tractor. We've got our crop header, header trailer, header for corn and header. Excellent. Cool. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to get this stuff sorted out. All right, so first off, I'm gonna get the trailer. I'm gonna get that loaded up. Got a shadow of a deer there. I don't know where the deer is though. But anyway. Alright, so we're gonna come out and around. I'm gonna buy this, then we're gonna take it straight out to the field basically. Alright. Cool. Right, so I'm sorry, I just I just couldn't deal with that much of that other brand, the D John brand, because We've got an entire series that's dedicated to it, unfortunately, because you, the viewers, chose it. Um, and I'm not going to start by choice with, with more of that brand here. So we've, um, we've made our decision and we're sticking with it. And if you don't like it, boo-hoo to you. All right, here we go. On the trailer, here we go.
There we go. Cool. Right, now, um, can I get in there and get that out? It's going to be a tight squeeze, I think. I think my, I think my um, auger is going to get caught. If I do this tight turn around here. Oh, just, just nugs the trailer. No, I think I've just locked it in. Tiggity boo, look at that. All right, we're gonna come back out. There we go. Come in. Put this in. Now, the good part is, as I said, one of the reasons um, with doing this is we get to use equipment I know you want to jump back on there. We get to use equipment we haven't used before. So like for instance, this, this header um, we haven't used before. I think I've used this combine, but not this direct version. We've used one of the modern ones of it. Um, so we're getting to use equipment that we haven't haven't used before, which is which is grand. All right, I'm gonna take the combine over. I'm gonna head that back to the farm. All right. Happy days, he says. Okay, here in the middle of the road. Uh, where's the access? Yeah. Try not to run over the pedestrians. There we go. Oh, all right. Our nice big new toy. Fantastic. Loving it already. All right. Come in through here. We're going to bring it into the farm and then I'll work out which field I'm going to go do. I'll probably have to take this header off. We'll probably go over and do um, the wheat first. Now, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to come around and we'll turn around. It's a good amount of room around this farm, which is good, even though it's compact. Um, I can just leave him there. Okay, now, when we can go and head off to the farm, to the field. Um, I'm going to I can't remember which way to get down to that field, actually. I think I can go down this way. See how narrow it is? And again, this is, I, I used to hate these sort of fields and, and this sort of scenario, but I actually don't mind it so much anymore. Um, purely from the perspective that um, it is a bit more of a challenge. And um, I'm used to doing the go big, go home and all that sort of stuff normally. Um, but we're doing something a little bit different. All right, I'm gonna pocket him in here like this. Um, I'm going to grab this guy and bring that over to the farm. Okay. There's the new equipment out, and we've still got a bit of money left for us as well. So we can possibly look at... Um, I can probably look at my forage wagon I wanted to buy. Um, I'll have a look at that. But I think all in all that was pretty good value. I think we um, we got a good deal out of that. Particularly with the combine, I think that was um, a very good deal. And no, I didn't set it up that way. It's just luck and happen chance. Um, cool, all right, so here we go. So we're gonna bring our trail around here. There we go. So we'll jump out from there. We'll grab the combine, we'll grab the header, and then we will get into it. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to reverse this way. We'll unfold. And then we'll turn in. Oh, the hedge has just been difficult. There we go. We've got it. Okay. Not ideal how we entered the uh, the field, but it's okay. I'm going to put um, some straw on. 
because we're going to need some straw. And there we go. Right, have at it. Yay, we're off and running with our farming. Excellent, excellent. All right, things are working well already. Look at this, look at that view. That's one of the things I do like about Cavalier Roy's uh, farms, particularly his last couple, um, Ebony Island. Um, obviously we like that because we're playing that. And this one here, like just the views and the, the inclines, it's just, it's just lovely. I really do like it. So uh, thank you, Roy. Um, and I strongly encourage you all to go check it out. It is available on the in-game mod hub. Um, so uh, I hope you uh, you do go check it out and you enjoy the map as much as what I am sure that I am going to do. I can easily see 100 episodes on this map. So if that puts you off already, then um, see you later. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, it's, um, I think it's gonna be a good map. I really do. Look at the incline we're going down. Handbrake, handbrake at the ready for the combine. Away we go again. Incline, it's on. Man, <clears throat> bit topsy turvy. Don't want to be too. We wouldn't be doing this as it's um too too much loaded at the top end because it'd make it a bit top heavy. Look at that. I think we'd have to um just do up and downs from here. A little bit, little bit sketchy. Up we go up the hill to be a good test of it. Obviously, getting any tractor down here with a trailer as well will be um, a bit of a testament to um, to its pulling power. So I, I don't think we're going to be just starting off with with small um, tractors. I think we're going to have to couple, have a couple of. Um, large tractors to have that uh, pulling capability. Anyway, there we go. Loving it already, really am. Haven't even started the grass work yet. Oh, the grass work. Oh, we're going to have some fun with that. All right, while we're just doing this, I'm going to have a bit of a um, great tickler. Ah, almost lost track of where I was. I wet the whistle moment. Ah, much better. All right. So we'll have to go get a tractor and trailer as well before um, offloading too. Away we go. All right, that's one header basically done. We're 50% um, full. So that would probably mean that we're gonna be full at the bottom end of the farm, of the field, I mean. Which does bode well, like I said, for a tractor that's gonna to have to be uh, carting. But anyway, we'll, we'll see how that all goes. <clears throat> All right, so we're in the first day of August. Oh, what I haven't done is I haven't put my time up. So I'll put it up to 15, we'll, we'll catch up on some time there. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll just continue through there. But yeah, so this this is the first episode and, and a bit of a preview of the map. Um, I probably won't do an actual full on uh, map review. Um, I mean, obviously you guys know that if I'm playing a map, I like the map and I would recommend it. Um, I'm certainly not one of these that would go out and do map reviews and, and score them and stuff like that. I think that's, um, well, I mean, it depends on your scoring criteria, I guess, but it, it does become a lot of a, a personal um, investment and, and, and decision um, because it's everything's very personal in this regard. Like the map may have all the features that you want, but it just isn't a map that you enjoy aesthetically or whatever else so um yeah so i don't, I don't think uh yeah but anyway we won't get stuck into that 
that's just the way I look at it. But anyway, so we'll we'll certainly showcase the map over the next couple of episodes. Um, we'll, we'll do a bit of a we'll do in the next episode we'll do a bit of a drive around at some point probably. Um, but uh, I think we'll just um, explore the map together um, in all of its uh, awesomeness and its gorgeous landscape, and um, and we can go from there. But like I said, it is available on the in-game mod hub. Uh, if you go and check it out and you like it, make sure you go in and leave a nice rating for, for Cavalier Roy, because that does actually affect his payments from Giants, um, for the amount of people who are downloading all that sort of stuff. So um, go give him the thanks that he deserves. Um, he's cranked out, what is it, I think four maps or five maps for FS22. Um, and remember that Riverview Farm was ready virtually right upon release of FS22. So he had that ready to go. Um, very early on and that's why we've we've done over 100 episodes now with um, Riverview as well as Port Belleron and, and Elm Creek so um, yeah make sure he, you go and give him the credit that he deserves um, it is a lovely map um, he will probably most most likely read any comments you leave here on the videos as well um, he, he do, is a follower thank thank you Roy um, and he does provide his uh, his feedback and comments and, and has done so occasionally so um, feel free to leave a message here um, or you can come and join us on our discord and he is on our discord as well so you can actually um, get in contact with him through there but uh, he's done a wonderful job so I thank Roy very very much for continuing the work he's done with Farming Sim 22 all right there we go we've almost finished our second headland all the way around we're at 94% uh, capacity so we'll just be full just up here and that'll timing will be perfect to offload and then we'll offload and then that will be the end of the episode in fact I don't know oh yeah it's only got 10,000 so it's okay I was just thinking do I have a trailer big enough I haven't looked at the size of the trailer but I think it's a I think it's about 11,000 trailer there we go we're there all right so I'll put the header out uh, we'll go find uh, the fence probably too small where uh, they are all small tractors, aren't they, really? Um, hmm. Um, let's have a quick look. There's nothing else in there, was there? Uh, large tractors. Nothing under the 185. So we're a bit stymied there. Um, maybe what I could do is... So everything we've got is a small tractor. Um, man, 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 man. Okay, let's have a little medium tractors. Um, or something with a bit of get up and go. 168. Uh, 171. 246. That's going to be on the more expensive side. Uh, the Kubota, 200. The Voltra. All right, we said we're going to try stuff we haven't really used much before. So let's have a look at the Kubota. Um, 200 horsepower, uh, an extra 10,000, 177,000. Um, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay, let's commit. Okay, there we go. All right, probably should have got the jewel, the jewels on the back, but that's okay. We'll, we'll just go with this so we'll go grab the trailer now um, we've spent all of our money we made and now it's time to uh to get to work and make some of that money back um, and in fact we probably will because we'll be able to sell the wheat and the corn straight off the bat so um that's okay as long as we've got enough money to reseed and everything else and, and replant then we'll be okay all right so we're going to come in here it's in this big shed and here is where the trailer is. I think now we're certainly going to be right for equipment. We shouldn't need to buy any equipment for a long while now. Oh, well, who are we kidding? I'll buy equipment as soon as I possibly can. That's just the way I am. Right, let's go. Offload the uh, the combine and that will be it. So we might as well say, say our farewells now. So thank you very much for joining us here for episode one of Glen Leithen. Um, we will be back. As I said, it won't be straight away. Um, we're going to wait for the other series to finish, but I did want to at least give you this early preview 
of where we're going to be and what we're going to be doing. Um, like I said, the map is available on the in-game mod hub and I strongly recommend you to go and grab it. Oh, it's a bit tight through here. Um, damn it. Um, yeah, I strongly recommend you go, you go get it um, and don't drive like I do. Um, but uh, yeah, and, and many thanks to Cavalier Roy for another wonderful map. I'm going to look at that view. Picturesque. All right, so thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, check out the map. Don't forget also to leave a like. If you don't want to leave a like, leave a comment. Leave a comment for Cavalier Roy. Leave a comment for me. Either way, it doesn't matter. And if you don't want to leave a comment, leave an emoji because that helps out the channel. And it's all free. Free for you and it benefits for me. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, make sure you press the alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware when new videos are available on the channel. Don't forget, you can come and join us on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. Details down below. But apart from anything else, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And we'll see you again very, very soon. Back here with Duck Solar Gaming and Glen Lethan Farm. See you all later. Bye.